Imagine being lost in the middle of a vast desert. The sun is beating down, the heat is unbearable, and you're unsure where to turn for water or shelter. You feel weak, exhausted, and desperate for a way out. Suddenly, a guide appears, offering to lead you to an oasis with clear cool water and shade that revives your spirit. That's what God promises us in Isaiah 58 verse 11. Let's dive into this verse and discover how God offers us guidance and refreshment in the driest moments of our lives. The Lord will guide you always. He will satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land and will strengthen your frame. You will be like a well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. But here's the question. Do we really believe that God is our guide in every situation? When life feels overwhelming, how often do we trust him to lead us through the desert moments? The Lord will guide you always. Think about a guide in an unfamiliar landscape. When we try to navigate alone, we stumble, get lost, or hit dead ends. God promises always to guide us. This isn't a part-time offer, it's continuous. When we acknowledge our need for his direction, we unlock the constant presence of a guide who knows the way, even when we don't. Satisfy your needs in a sun-scorched land. A sun-scorched land is not just a poetic metaphor, it's a reality many of us face. Yet, God promises not just to find us in that land but to satisfy us there. It's in these tough times that God shows up, providing what we need when we least expect it. Are we ready to receive? Strengthen your frame. There's a beauty in this simple phrase. Strength is more than muscle, it's resilience, the ability to withstand pressure, hardship, and adversity. God doesn't just help us survive, he equips us to stand strong in the midst of struggle. His strength doesn't only uplift us, we are continually renewed by his power, which is far beyond our own. Well-watered garden, like a spring whose waters never fail. This is a vivid image of growth, life, and flourishing. Picture the lushest garden you've ever seen, vibrant, green, and overflowing with life. That's the picture God has for you. A well-watered garden is not stressed, thirsty, or dry, it's abundant, bearing fruit. God wants you to live in this abundance, and he's the source of it all, the spring that never runs dry. What's your desert? We all have desert seasons in life, moments when everything feels parched and lifeless. It could be a strained relationship, a job that drains your energy, or a spiritual dryness that makes you feel disconnected from God. But God hasn't abandoned you in your desert. He promises to meet you there and guide you, and even turn that barren land into a place of growth. Ask yourself, what area of my life feels like a desert right now? Where do I need God's guidance and refreshment the most? Practical Steps for Finding God's Guidance Step 1. Slow down and seek God's direction. In today's fast-paced world, we often rush to make decisions without pausing to ask God for his guidance. Take a moment each day to slow down, pray, and seek his direction. Whether it's a big life decision or a small daily choice, invite him to guide your steps. Step 2. Trust God in the waiting. Deserts can feel endless, and we often wonder why God isn't acting faster. But remember, in the desert, God is working even when we can't see it. Trust his timing. He's leading you to a place of refreshment. Step 3. Look for the oasis moments. God is always providing, but are we noticing? Sometimes, the smallest signs of refreshment, an encouraging word, a moment of peace, are like little oases in the desert. Keep your eyes open for God's provision, even in small ways, and thank Him for it. 
the overflowing life. Now imagine this, you are no longer in that barren desert, but standing in the middle of a garden that you thought was impossible. Everywhere you look, there's fruit, life, and beauty. This isn't just a distant hope, it's God's promise to you today. You don't have to live in scarcity, feeling dry and worn out. God wants to turn your life into a well-watered garden that overflows with his goodness. Believe in this promise and trust him to guide you to that place of abundance. If today's message has spoken to your heart, don't let it end here. God's promise of guidance and refreshment is something you can experience every day. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you in the next study, so make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video.